Unlock VAG MQB 48 Key Data Fast. KD KDMP Step-by-Step -step Guide 2025. Hey everyone, this is Hussein, and welcome back to Bob G Motors, your ultimate hub for all things automobile diagnostics, ECU programming, and cutting-edge key tools. Now, before we dive into today's topic, a quick note. This video is purely for educational and informational purposes. Everything shown here is meant to guide technicians, learners, and enthusiasts safely and effectively. We respect all trademarks and copyrights and always recommend following manufacturer guidelines and local laws while working on vehicles. So here's a question for you. Have you ever wondered how professional technicians calculate key data for VAG MQB 48 keys without risking a failed attempt or lost points? Stick with me till the end because I'm going to show you every single step, some pro tips, and a secret trick to make your key calculation smooth and error-free. Today, we're diving into the KD KDMP tool and how it calculates VG MQB 48 key data, a function that's ready and fully operational as of October 2025. Whether you're an Audi, VW, or seed enthusiast, or a professional locksmith, this video is going to make your life a lot easier. First things first, let's talk about the requirements you need to get started. To calculate MQB48 key data with KD's KDMP tool, you must update the KD app to version 1.52 or newer. This ensures you have the latest features and bug fixes. Next, activating the MQB48 function isn't free. It requires 2,500 KD coins, which is roughly $75, and it shares the same license as the Audi BCM2. Once activated, each individual MQB48 key operation consumes 200 KD coins. Remember, you'll also need an original key, a laptop with a USB port, and a 12E power supply. The MQB48 function in KDMP covers the same range as tools like Zorse and KYDZ, so you're not missing out on coverage. Now let's go step by step. One. Launch the KDMP tool app on your laptop and select the MQB48 function. Here, you'll see options for wiring diagrams. There are five wiring diagrams, each corresponding to a different type of MQB48 key. This is important because connecting the wires correctly is crucial for successful data collection. Two, check the diagram carefully. The capacitor marked by the yellow arrow must be removed and replaced with the capacitor provided in your KDMP kit. The required capacitor value is 1.8 picofarads, which is very small, so handle it carefully. 3. Connect the key data collection cable to the KDMP unit and ensure the tool is connected to a 12V power supply. This ensures stable communication and prevents errors during the calculation process. Here's an important tip. Do not place the key directly into the induction coil. Doing so will almost certainly cause a failed data collection. Instead, use the positioning tool provided. The key must sit at a precise height above the coil. For extra stability, insert the positioning sponge that comes with the package or even a small ball of folded paper and then place the original keyboard on top of it. For this specific type of MQB48 key, the key must be placed vertically and inserted into any of the holes in the positioning sponge. This ensures the coil can read the data correctly without interference. If it's misaligned, the calculation will fail. So take your time and double check placement. Once the key is correctly positioned, start the key identification and data calculation. Each MQB48 key calculation uses 200 KD coins, but here's some good news. If a calculation fails, you won't lose any points and repeating calculations on the same account won't deduct points again. This gives you the flexibility to retry without penalties. After the calculation is finished, you'll receive a verification code. This code is your golden ticket. It can be used with KDKD, X4, and other MQB devices to generate new keys and program them to the vehicle. To use it on another device, Simply open the file from the cloud and copy-paste the data into your KD, X4, or compatible tool. To summarize, the process may seem technical, but following each step carefully ensures smooth and error-free key data calculation. 
Remember, handling small capacitors, correct key positioning, and proper cable connections are the keys to success. For example, I once tried placing the key directly into the coil without the sponge. It failed three times. After using the positioning tool correctly, the calculation succeeded on the first try. Small details like this make a huge difference in professional work. So, the answer to our intro question, how do technicians calculate VEG MQB48 key data safely? Is a combination of the right tool, correct wiring, precise key positioning, and using the KDMP app to generate and verify data. From my experience, taking these small but critical steps is what separates a smooth key calculation from repeated failures. Here's a fun tip. The MQB48 system is very sensitive, but with the KDMP tool, even beginners can learn keys with confidence. The verification code is reusable, so you can experiment and practice without worrying about wasting coins. Now it's your turn. Comment below with your experiences using KD tools or any questions you have about MQB48 keys. I want to hear your thoughts. And if you found this guide useful, please help hyping this video, hitting 10,000 likes, 1,000 comments, and subscribing to Bob G Motors. It's your support that keeps this channel growing and allows me to bring you even more insider tips. Until next time, keep learning, keep exploring, and happy diagnosing.